Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige. I was tagged by Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads to do the time and place book tag. So I will put her video right here. You should go check her out. She is wonderful. And I will link the original video down below. But essentially this tag is to pick 10 books off of your bookshelf and share a memory about them all. When I was looking at my bookshelves, I didn't really have 10 books that I felt brought out a strong memory from me. So I picked five that I have some memories that I can share. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Tag, tag me in this tag. When she tagged me in this tag, does that make sense? So when I was tagged by Nat, the first book that came to mind was actually this one called Indian Captive, The Story of Mary Jeminson. It's by Lois Lenski, and I don't really know what it's about. I had to go back and look at the synopsis of this, but I guess this is supposed to be a true story about this girl who was taken captive when she was very young, and she lived with these Native Americans the rest of her life. I don't remember any of the story. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know what sort of representation it is and if this is like not a good story to read. So I'm gonna put that down. Um, but I do remember reading it on the way to the Grand Canyon. So I live in Arizona and I think I was about 12 or 13 and we had never been to the Grand Canyon. So my mom got us a train ride up there and I brought a book with me because I love to read. And I remember getting so frustrated with me because I would not stop reading this book. And my justification the entire time was like, I don't need to see the desert. I don't need to see these trees. I don't really care about all the rocks and the dirt. I want to read this book. And so I just remember her being so mad at me for reading, but then not feeling like she was allowed to get mad at me because I was just reading a book. And so I finished this on the train ride up to the Grand Canyon and it was a really fun trip don't remember what happened in this book, but I do know that I finished it in a couple of hours on that trip. So the second book that was on my bookshelves that I had a memory about is this one by, oh my goodness, Ler Lerleen McDaniel. It's called Don't Die My Love, and it is about, I think one of these teenagers has cancer or an illness and they are dying and it is like their love story is all I remember but my memory about this one is that I used to love Hannah Montana when I was oh, late elementary school probably even early middle school I loved watching Hannah Montana I didn't have cable when I was super young so when I finally got cable I was all about the Disney Channel and I loved Miley Cyrus and she in one magazine I think maybe an interview said that this was her favorite book so I read it and I remember being very sad about it and it also has a scene with flowers that's all I remember about it but I read this because of Miley Cyrus the next book that I have to talk about is called Elsewhere and it's by Gabrielle Zevin. I lost the dust jacket. I think it probably got ruined because I took it somewhere, but I had to look this one up too because I remember absolutely loving this book when I read it, but I cannot remember anything about it. So I went and I googled it and it is apparently about a girl who dies and where she goes is a place in the afterlife where you age backwards until you are a baby and then can be reborn again but I remember reading this I think in high school and crying because there's a scene where she talks to her brother and I have two younger brothers and it got to me just like thinking about like missing somebody and like being able to watch over them and seeing their life and not being able to be in their life I just remember being so heartbroken by this book but I think I might have to read this again sometime to see if I actually liked it. But I thought it was a very interesting take on the afterlife. So the next book I have is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And I did not know that she wrote the, what are they called? Not P.S. I Love You. To All the Boys I Loved Before books. So I have this entire trilogy on my bookshelves. And I remember that I was in, I think the end of middle school or maybe even my freshman year of high school. And I have an aunt and un uncle who really love reading. So they would always talk to me about reading and they would want me to get even more into reading. So one summer, I was maybe 13, 14, they said, we're gonna send you a bunch of books. And for every single book that you read, if you write us a short little review on what you thought about that book, we'll send you $10. And so one summer, they just sent me a stack of books and I got to read them and write them short little reviews and they just paid me. 
they bought me books and paid me. I don't really know why because I already liked reading, but it was a really good incentive for the summer to keep reading. And this was one of the books that they picked up and I loved it that I had to get the other two. I don't remember much about it besides her name is Belly and she has two childhood friends that are staying with her or in the same place as her every single summer and she has like a little love story between one or both of them and I remember really liking it at the time but I don't know how these would hold up now but I really liked reading and getting money for reading so that was definitely a good memory with this one for sure too <laughs> but I do remember liking the story so I do think I might need to pick up to all the boys I love before. People keep saying that they're great and I have good memories with this one so might try it out. And then the last book I have is Nicholas Sparks' The Wedding. I don't want to read Nicholas Sparks books anymore but I did read almost all of them up until a couple of years ago and that was something me and my mom used to do. Oh my gosh I just stopped filming and realized I didn't even say what this was about. So this is the second book to The Notebook. So this is following the children of Noah and Allie and something or other and I guess there's a wedding but I have a specific memory of this book because in high school my high school was connected to the public library and I would have to wait to get picked up after school for two to three hours so I would just sit in the library and this is one of the very first books that I picked up there but my memory of the library and reading is that eventually my now best friend showed up in the library and just hung out with me and he lived right around the corner he could just walk home if he wanted to but he would sit and talk with me for the two three four hours that i would have to stay there and that's how we became best friends so this book reminds me of the library where we became best friends so these are all five of my books for the time and place book tag i really had fun reliving some of these memories so i am going to tag people that I want to see do this in the description and my camera is going to die so I really have to hurry up. I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching.